the health beat today. It is, we know, it is a bad week for dieting, but the Thanksgiving meal does not have to be a total wash. There are some simple ingredient swabs that can make the meal just a little healthier. And joining me this morning is registered dietitian and nutritionist Vicki Shanta Ritoni. So I know it's not a great time to count our calories, but some easy swaps we're yes, talking about. Yes, thanks for having me. And I brought along some of my favorite products that I work with as well. So it's fun to think about how can you add healthier ingredients in, not only for Thanksgiving, but throughout the whole year. Okay. So yeah, it's important. We're gonna start so, over here. Yes, we're gonna start with, um, instead of regular hot chocolate, if either you're doing the turkey trot or out trying to warm up, use a hot chocolate that is souped up, I call it, with Cocovia, which is a cocoa extract supplement. Okay. A daily dose of this, it gives you flavanols, which can help give your body more and maintain nitric oxide levels, which actually dilates the blood vessels and helps your blood flow more smoothly. Just add that in there? Yes, and you can put it in your oatmeal, okay. you can put it in your yogurt, <gasps> and it's a daily supplement. And you can get that from the stores? Yes, okay. regular grocery stores. And then what yes. else are we talking about over yes. here? So what also I love to tell people is add protein and fiber with pulses. Daniel, do you know what pulses are? No. Pulses are dry beans, peas, like split peas, okay. lentils, and chickpeas. All the beautiful things so right all here. All these okay. beautiful, colorful beans. What we're gonna do is make a recipe with lentils, okay. which is so important. You wanna think about adding your lentils. This is a lentil caprese bruschetta. Okay. So you just put lentils in here. Is this cooked? This are cooked lentils. Now these I've pre-cooked at home. Okay. So you just make them like you'd make All rice right. with a little water. Oh, okay. Add your tomatoes. Ooh, so just like beautiful. you would do with caprese. And you're gonna add in some basil. Mm -hmm. So a little fresh basil. Toss in huh. some mozzarella. So okay. that's all the normal ingredients we yes, would put in, okay? Yes, yes, and then add a little extra virgin olive okay. oil. Yeah, while you do that, I'll toss do for you. Do your balsamic vinegar, okay. which is gonna be the caprese part of it, uh -huh. and a little bit of salt, just a touch of salt. <gasps> really? So yes, you're Look getting- Look how beautiful that is. It's so colorful, it's so beautiful, and then you would toast your bread, and I use whole grain bread, mm -hmm. you can use whatever okay. bread you'd like, add it to your bruschetta, and that can be a perfect appetizer. Okay. Fiber-filled, plant-based, and a lot of protein, too. I like too. that. Plus, in your <clears throat> regular veggies, mm -hmm. you can add your pulses as well. Okay, how do you do that? Yes. What I do is, in my stuffing, I'll add lentils to the stuffing. Okay. In my uh, potatoes, mash in some white beans and put a green bean salad, add a chickpea sauce to oh. it. So it adds some nice flavor without compromising the taste of it. I love Your it. Your guests might not even know. Okay. Once again, roast veggies okay. too. That's my piece de resistance. <laughs> Add color to your table. Right. Roast your veggies. I cannot wait to try some of these recipes. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming yes. in, Vicki. By the way, if you like to check out these recipes or other healthy Thanksgiving Day swaps, you can check out our website at abc7chicago.com. It is all right there for you, or you can download the free ABC7 News app. Happy Thanksgiving, Vicki. Thanks for coming in.